Hi guys, it's Mike of WordPress How To's. Now, to have your own WordPress website, you're going to need a couple basic things to get started, which would be a domain name and a hosting company where the you store your server, your website files on their servers. You probably know what a domain name is, but a domain name is basically like google.com or uh hostgator.com and that sort of thing. Now, the hosting is a place where it stores your website files. Now, domain name is basically a web address. It's not a real physical address, but it is a unique. Uh, it is unique, so there's only one domain name of each kind, uh, like Google.com, and then there's probably a Google.net and that sort of thing. Now, hosting is where you have your have servers where you store your website files, and that is a physical location but you need to have both to have a website online and you have to connect your domain name your web address to your hosting servers now you do, the way you do that is what's through what's called the DNS DNS is domain name system and the name servers your DNS name servers now the first steps we're going to go through in this video I'm going to show you a cool site that'll show you uh, the availability of any domain name that you have in mind instantly and save a little time. I, it's a pretty cool site. And then we're going to go through the process of buying a domain name. There's a couple sites that I recommend, and I'll tell you why I recommend either both of those. Then we're going to go get hosting, and there's only one company I recommend there. Then we're going to connect the domain name to the hosting servers. So the first step. I'm going to go to go to a site, a cool site that I I, I use a few when I'm picking out domain names. I got to spell it right first. It's called InstantDomainSearch.com. And the cool thing about this site is you can just type in anything up here in the search box, and it'll instantly tell you if it's available or not, and in what extension it is or is available. Now, see Mike, Mike.com, and all the other extensions are. Uh, well, I can buy for two point four thousand dollars, twenty four hundred dollars. I can buy emike.com, but I'll pass on that. Well, let me see, Mike's WordPress. That's available. See, in all these different extensions, it gives you the main extensions. It doesn't give you all the fancy, you know, all the different countries and stuff like that. So if you're in a different country, you probably can't use this site. So and you don't want to you want a dot co dot uk and that sort of thing it's not going to tell you the availability but for those of us in that want a dot com or dot net and that sort of thing mike's wordpress tips dot com see so, you know, i own this own this domain so that's not available now over here you'll have all these different places where you can just uh, you can click right here say one on one and just click on this button it'll instantly take you to uh, the one-on-one -on -one site to purchase that domain. I don't recommend one-on-one, -on -one, but I do have domains at GoDaddy, which you probably have heard of. Now you can also, and I also have domains at Namecheap. Those are the two places I recommend. So after you have your domain name picked out, you'll want to go and buy it. I was already logged in there. So here's GoDaddy.com, but they uh, generally have some pretty good prices on uh, their domains, at least the first year. Now after the first year, their price, I believe, for uh, re subsequent re renewal years is about $17 a year. So they'll get their money out of you, uh, whether you buy a 99 cent domain or not. Um, you can go online and search for GoDaddy coupons and probably get the best price around. And you'll notice right here, I can click on this box here, and they have all pretty much any domain name extension. And an extension would be the dot com or dot net or that sort of thing see they have dot co dot uk and they have everything pretty much anything new zealand uh, i'm not sure what some of these others stand for australia anyway pretty much any extension you need they have it so you'll just type in your domain and then then you'll click on search and then that'll tell you if the domain is available and then you can purchase it so you'll go through the process of signing up. The only thing I recommend is not buying anything besides your domain name from GoDaddy, especially not web hosting. Now the other place that I recommend is called Namecheap. I'm going to get back to uh, where I was, to get back to their main site here. 
Namecheap uh, is a little bit more expensive than GoDaddy initially, but the reason they are, I do recommend them anyway, is they have something called free WhoisGuard protection. Now, WhoisGuard, uh, over at GoDaddy, they call it privacy, and you'll have to pay about $10 a year for it. So you can go to a site called whois.net, and you can type in the domain name, and it'll give you all the information uh, that was used to register that domain name unless they have a privacy or who is guard so if you want to keep that information private you can you get free who is guard protection at namecheap and that would be the way to go and you, the, the the namecheap interface here isn't nearly as fancy as godaddy but they do just fine they have millions of domains registered there too so either one after you've picked out your domain and purchased it then you're going to need web hosting where your website files will be stored. The only company that I do recommend is called HostGator, HostGator.com. Now I do use these guys. I have used uh, a couple other website hosts and uh, I just didn't like them as much for the main be reason being is the HostGator support. Now you notice the toll free number up here which is what I generally do. And they also have live chat and their support is open. You can call or do live chat uh, 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. So you click on the live chat button and there you go. You just have to put in all your information here. The reason I don't like to use live chat is because I don't like to type so much and it's easier to get my point across. But you know, either way, whichever way you go, you might have to wait a little longer if you do. You might have to be put on hold for a little bit when you call this number, but generally not too long. And these guys are stationed in the U.S. and they're pretty knowledgeable. And if they don't know the answer, they generally can find one of their coworkers that does. So I've had really good success with the uh, HostGator support because I, I have you know do web web development and website to websites for companies and uh, that sort of thing. So I generally run into a few things that I need answers for. So now here are the hosting plans. The Hatchling plan, well, I, I don't recommend that just for the main reason. You only get one domain, and if you're like most people, once you get one domain and get it on there and get a website up, you might just want to get another domain and another website, and you can get as many domains on your baby plan as you'd like with the baby plan. So the business plan, I don't recommend that either, but uh, you know you might like the features here, so it's up to you. I generally go the monthly route, but... Uh, you can get a little cheaper if you uh, pay for longer periods of time. And monthly is $7.96 a month, but I'm going to show you how to get it for just a little bit cheaper. So I'm going to click on the Order Now button. Now up here, you can get a domain name at HostGator. I don't recommend it, you know, just for the reason that I like to have the control of uh, having my domain names at a separate place as I do my hosting, my hosting servers. Uh, but um, and if you ever do need decide to change hosting companies, uh, it makes it a little bit easier. Well, it was kind of a hassle when I had had it with another host, and I had a domain there too. And it just I like to have things uh, a little more control and things simpler. So I, that's the way I go as I buy domains at uh, Namecheap or GoDaddy. But if you do want to go the simplest route, you can purchase a domain at HostGator for fifteen dollars a year. So either way, put in your domain name that you want you want to buy or you've already purchased over here. And then down here is their coupon code. This is the HostGator default coupon code, and that will save you what they say 20%, but if you put in my coupon code, oops, your Gator 55 you'll save an additional 5%, so 25%. So, your Gator 55, I do receive a small commission if you do purchase hosting at HostGator using my coupon code, but I would appreciate it very much if you're going to buy uh, hosting at HostGator anyway, if you would use your Gator 55. And it does allow me to keep on making these free videos for everyone. So, either way, I'm going to stick in a domain that I already have on, on this. Uh, I currently have a domain name and I'll put in my domain name and then I'll hit continue to step two. And this will where you confirm your what you're going to buy. You notice the price went down from seven ninety six to seven forty six with my coupon your gator fifty five. 
you'll enter in your username and security pin password all your billing information down here um, you can use PayPal which is generally the route that I like to go I don't recommend that I'd uncheck this box about site lock I don't really think it does much the only thing the only reason I would recommend it would be as if uh, you know you are dealing with you're gonna sell things to people on your site you know some people are a little leery about buying online and if you have a, something that's a little seal on your website that says secure site lock site lock secure uh, they might feel a little bit better about uh, you know purchasing something online on your website but otherwise I wouldn't buy it um, go Moby mobile website builder now that's a pretty good mobile website builder if you do want to build a separate web mobile website but you can wait till later to buy that and you can purchase that at a lot of different places right now uh, we'll just uh, go down here and you know that there's the 360 24 7 365 support they do have a money back guarantee of 45 days if you change your mind and we're buying the baby plan by the month there's the coupon code for 25 percent off now if you did buy your domain at hostgator there'd be another fifteen dollars added here and you just click on the little i've read and agree to the terms and conditions of use and click create an account i'm not going to do that i'm just going to come over here to my email now after you buy hosting at HostGator, they'll send you an email pretty much right away. This is an old email I got for a baby plan that I that I used to have. I now have a reseller's account. This will give you all your information, your password, your billing account, and your billing account password, your control panel link, your control panel username, main domain, your password, your name servers, your IP address. I would highly suggest uh, keeping this email somewhere. And I would actually also suggest to take all this information, and copy it into a text file, and save it somewhere separately too, because it's a really a hassle if you don't know the information here and you need it sometimes. So, so after we've got your hosting, now we want to connect. If you did buy a domain at GoDaddy or Namecheap, we have to connect the two together. So, over at GoDaddy, we'll go through the process here. You just have to log into your account. Now up on the top left, hover your mouse over all products, and then over domains, and then and if you can sneak over your mouse over here in the pop-up menu, down on the bottom right, click on domain management. Now you probably won't have all these domains on yours, but just check the box next to your domain that you're going to set the, that you want to work on. And then hover your mouse up here over where it says name servers and click on set name servers. Now back here in your email, I have it highlighted right here, it says first name server and second name server. Right click and copy the first name server. Then go back to GoDaddy. Now make sure you have this little button down here selected. I have specific name servers for my domains put your mouse inside the little box for the name server one and then right click and paste and do the same thing for the name server number two that'll be name server number one and all you'll have to do is just ch add one number to this so 789 790 you notice right here 2995 2996 so after you do that you'll just click on OK and I'm just gonna click cancel and not do that but so that will be that and then it, you generally will take about Oh, two to four hours for what's your what's called your name servers resolving to your hosting ser hosting account. It can't. They do say it can take up to 48 hours. I've never seen it happen like that. Over at Namecheap, if you do want the Who Is Guard protection, pretty similar process. You have to log in. I've already I'm already logged in. So after you log in, just hover your mouse over in the left hand side of the to the menu bar up here go over to the pop-out menu and click on manage domains and then under domain name over here you'll just put a little check in the box here of your domain name now you, you notice this is not nearly as fancy a setup but you know it's it does the job just fine not as fancy a setup as GoDaddy but it does the job just fine so after you have the little bo check, bo check in the box uh, click on edit selected here 
Now over on the left hand the left hand side of your screen there'll be under general there'll be domain name server setup and you'll just click on that. And you'll do the same thing. Make sure this little radio button is selected here, specify custom DNS servers. Then you'll just paste in your your name server number one in both boxes and then just change the number by one, add one number, add one to the the number of your name server number one for name server number two. And then you'll click Save Changes. And that, like I said, but that'll generally take, you know, a couple hours or so. And the way you'll know that it hasn't resolved yet is that you'll click on your link here. You can also get to your cPanel by just putting in your do domain name and a forward slash and cPanel. But you'll click on this link and it'll take you to the HostGator it'll take you to a HostGator screen rather than your login page. Here I'll click on it and show you what it looks like. You'll have a cPanel login here for HostGator otherwise it'll take you to a different screen. Then you'll just have to enter in your just copy your username and paste it in there or, or type it in and then copy this password in your cPanel in the password section and click login and you'll be taken to your cPanel and be ready to install WordPress and get your website going. So that's all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and rate. And as always, keep on keeping on. Take care.